Today I want to talk a little bit about controls on a commercial RO system. Um, this particular system uses what's called a Minitrol controller. Um, some standard systems are basically just going to have on and off switches. When you have a standard system with an on and off switch, you have to switch the main power somehow. Um, we have a particular float we use called an outlet configuration and that's how we control those standard systems. When you get on to a more advanced system with the Minitrol or the S150 controller, you're going to have what's called pretreatment lockout and tank level inputs. Now these are going to be two coiled up gray wires and they're usually wire netted together when you'll get your system. Um, these are actually control circuits to turn the RO on and off. They are no voltage switch closure circuits. So um, you don't want to put voltage to them either or you'll actually damage the board in, in the uh, controller. But these particular switches can be used from uh, remote locations to turn the RO on and off. Um, the one for tank full would be the one that you would run to a float switch in the tank. Um, what that basically would do is it, it could be any kind of switch, any kind of wire size because again there's no voltage or amperage here. Um, when this particular circuit is open and the wires aren't touching then the system will not run. So you would want a switch that would open basically when the float comes all the way up and the tank is full. Now when this closes that kicks the RO on so when that float drops you would want the switch to close to turn the RO on and make the RO run. Now the other one we have here is called pre-treatment lockout and it works the same way. It's still a switch closure, no voltage and it still has to be closed for the RO to run. Now what this is for is you can actually run a circuit with an ancillary switch on some of your pre-treatment items. That way if your, your pre-treatment is in backwash or in regeneration, it'll open this circuit and allow, not allow the RO to run while those are actually re regenerating or backwashing. Most uh, regenerations or backwashes are still going to, or filters or, or softeners are going to allow hard water bypass. So basically untreated water to come by. That's why we want to lock out the RO whenever those are backwashing to ensure we're getting only treated water to the RO system. That's what helps protect the membranes. So. Um, there usually is a some type of a micro switch or maybe an auxiliary relay or something like that that you can use to turn this RO on and off whenever one of your pretreatment items are actually backwashing or regenerating. The only other controls on here would be if you would happen to have a TDS meter, which would be on the top. Um, some of these TDS meters can either have a dual function where they test the water in and the water out or just the water out. This particular one just does the water coming out of the system. So um, they have an alarm feature where it's, it's actual an audible alarm or you can have a relay output that will light a light up or something like that if you want to wire that in. But this has no bearing on shutting the system down on a Minitrol type system. But again, those are the most common controls for an RO system as far as on and off operation. And then, you know, you can have some additional monitoring. And uh, again, standard systems, we would be switching the main power is how we would control that. Thanks.